themselves their country loved. Have mercy more than life. America, America, God spread His grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shine. that sees beyond the years. Thy alabaster city gleam undimmed by human tears. America, America, God shed His grace on thee. South Carolina, our wonderful apostle and prophet of the True Light Pentecost Church, Prophet H. Walker, this time. To take our children, to take our country back, and to take our church back. Jude wrote, it was needful for me to write unto you that you earnestly contend for the faith once delivered. For there are certain men crept in unawares. Brothers and sisters, if we don't take another look, we're going to lose our great country. God blessed America and made it a beacon on a hill that the rest of the world could come out of darkness into the marvelous light. It's not by accident America has been blessed. But when the enemy creeps in unawares, when the Sodomite and the Lesbian Coalition comes to defy God's holy word and make God a liar. Somebody got to stand up and defend the faith. I saw, or rather someone emailed me and on their blazer, uh, they said, I'm a proud lesbian. 
and the caption on the blazer read, two mamas are better than one. I thought about that for a moment and just to see how far the morality code in America has sunk. Two mamas are better than one. But what happened to daddy? And if two mamas are better than one, where did the babies come from? And if artificial insemination is your key, why is it that Duracell battery are going up in sales? And toys are sold that do not sell in Walmart. There's something wrong somewhere. Anytime you take the quality of character and you degrade it so much, you create a subhuman being. When God blessed America to be the bastion of freedom, he gave them a religious order. It's not based on Islam. We don't pray to Allah. The Bible says, neither is there salvation any other, for there's no other name under heaven whereby a man must be saved. I would not take my church and go to Saudi Arabia. That's not decent and in order. Neither would I want someone of the Islamic faith to bring their church to America. That's not decent and in order. And I have the courage to stand up against it. Freedom is not to be abused. You just can't run over freedom. America was blessed in God we trust. We have to make a stand. When we allow for all of these foreign religions to come in, a breakdown in the character of America began to take place. And it weakened the church. Now you have sodomite preachers, money exploiters, who get rich at the expense of the people. And the pastors drive Mercedes and the Bentleys and live in the lifestyle of the rich and famous. And they go to the bank every Monday laughing while the people look up to glory waiting for their blessing to come. We need to understand that there's something wrong with the church today and we're going to take the church back to the Bible. We're not going to let our children be influenced by sodomite and lesbian teachers. They just recently fired a teacher because he made a statement concerning a sodomite who may have been in his uh, school. Certain things are done decently and in order, but don't blame the teacher. When someone is sick and has a tumor, the doctor just don't cut out the tumor. He goes to the root that caused the tumor. So it's not the 